Okay, so I'm doing a video. Basically, I had a trouble on my silent night panel instead of the Home Depot. It says uh, trouble and night notification. So I come over here and back up so you can see it all. There's the notification panels. And they did something I've never really seen before. They stacked the batteries all in one panel that ran the wire up to the individual boxes. Uh, opened up the cabinets, investigated. Uh, it's output number one. So I took my voltmeter, set it to volts DC on the fluke and measure across output number one. I got the wires disconnected right now because I was troubleshooting. Uh, and the voltage I read across that with the wires connected. So it's hard to do while holding a video camera. is 27 volts which is an open circuit a normal circuit for one of these silent night and night panels is between 21 and 19 volts so uh, there's a little variance in there so what had happened was it looks like somebody had uh, gotten into one of the Orange strobes in the ceiling with a forklift. It still works, but the ones past that uh, didn't work. So the way I tested that, or it could just be knocked loose uh, to where it can't see the end line resistor anymore. So I took the wires off, measured for my end line resistor using the ohms on the fluke meter, and it did not see the end line resistor flipping it either way. So uh, I took a set of the batteries from down here, brought it up top, stuck, uh, left the jumper wire in, in between it here so I'd get, uh, get my 27 bolts. So that's loose. I might have crimped that. So you see stuff like that, it just, it just kills you, you know what I mean? That's, a, that's an intermittent trouble just waiting to happen right there. Anyway. Uh, Uh, so I stuck my black to my negative and my red to my positive. So up here the voltage is, is flipped. So if I stuck my black lead to my meter to here and my red meter to here, it would read negative voltage. So what happens, it reverses polarity and it jumps it up to 24, 27 volts, something like that to set off the circuit. So I took my negative lead, put it to the black leg, and my red lead, and put it to the uh, uh, positive leg of the batteries. And then I walked out in the store and walked around. I'm gonna upload a second video showing the walk around, but it will only set off just that one circuit. So then I can locate it. Those are up in the ceiling. None are down low to where you can reach it. So I gotta get a lift and come back out here. I'll do a follow-up video to show you exactly what I what I find out in the field. But that's basically uh, how you troubleshoot an open circuit, uh, like at a Home Depot or another place, where they don't want you setting off the entire fire alarm system. You just set off the circuit so that you can locate it instead of guessing. So. Uh, I did a walk around, I saw some damage to a light right next to, and a cable tray right next to that horn strobe. So I kind of found the area already before I did this. Um, if you have any questions or if you want me to do any other videos, uh, please, please put a comment below. And also uh, like and subscribe. I'm sorry the video is so shaky. Uh, I just did this one on the fly. So I'm going to start uploading more of these like that. Uh, this is a, a silent night.
Silent Night model uh, $54.99. So, but pretty much the same principle. You find a circuit that's normal, find one that's not normal, see what the difference is. Voltage goes down, typically it's a short. Voltage goes up, typically it's an open or a loose wire. Um, so, that's that. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.